Nothing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger Step by step The clock is ticking But there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul We are heroes tonight is going on boys and girls it is another daily vlog day seven but it could be even eight in a row we are in town i'm actually currently mcdonald's if you didn't see bought myself a bacon it's toasty they're actually really really nice as in i'm not a big fan of mcdonald's myself but these bacon cheese toasties are to die for and yeah i know i'm giving these uh, bacon cheese toasties a lot of credit and i've been doing it a lot but I do have one problem. See, every time we go to the hospital, uh, we have to drive a certain way and we always pass McDonald's. So on the way home, we'll get some bacon cheese toasties. And they're 1.30. These are now 1.60. 30 cent increase. I, I, just, I just don't know anymore. I really don't. First was Annabelle Lars. Then Freddo's, now the bacon cheese toasties. How, how bad does it have to get before we realise that the, it's not, enough is enough? The prices need to stay the same. Oh, absolutely abysmal. Anyway, I'm spending the day in town today. To meet, meeting up with a couple of the lads. It should be good crack. I think, I think, I don't know if it's true or not. But Shane McDermott is rumoured to be here today. Fingers crossed, and if he is, like, this is going to be the greatest vlog ever. We leave McDonald's behind, and we are heading get away. We are on Grafton Street right now. I'm finally going to bring you guys that sports direct. I keep banging on about and show you the really nice, um, jury we got there, like, Spotted Juniors, Spartak Moscow. Actually, Spartak Moscow did win the league this year under, like, a uh, disciple of Conte. Anyway, sports direct is actually out of this world, as I said. Spock Jr. Spartak Moscow. Unfortunately, they have a Red Bull jersey, but you know, at least they're going continental instead of half the stores in Dublin where they just have Celtic, Chelsea, Manchester City, Man United, Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Liverpool. Guys, as I said, we're back in Tulsa. I still haven't tried this stuff. So pretty scared to, but we do have a visitor. As I said, Mark is here for us today. What? Mark. Is it mainly Chelsea fans that watch these videos? Actually, no, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty decent bunch of people. There you go. Really? Okay, they're decent people. Then. Yeah, Fair like the Dock, Bose, Cork. I even have Rovers fans watching. Shout out to them, actually. The whole shebang. The whole shebang. Yeah. And now, hopefully, we'll have Liverpool fans watching because you're here. Hopefully. But you can, if you make that like the thumbnail, with a big red circle around it, then maybe. What do you think of the new Liverpool jersey, actually? Although I like this one. I'm not. I, when, I, when I saw it on the internet, I didn't like it, but um, the, the orange one is a bit edgy. But I like this one. The home one's brilliant. So. Yeah. Here's a question for you. Have you seen the new Chelsea away one? No, I haven't. All right, we'll go to the shops later on, and we're gonna get your opinion on it if it's white or grey. Okay. Oh, it's one of these things where you don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All uh, right. I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah. All right. Mark's looking forward to that. Well, we're outside Tolteca, so just like stoops yesterday, I think I'll have to give this place another rating. If I'm honest, I'm not really big into this whole burrito craze that's going around lately. You have to like some bougie and some burritos, and this place. For me, I've never really just into this whole burrito craze thing i'm more of a staple meal like i don't know going to subway or getting chinese or chips from the chipper this place meant to be good let's go try it out around the globe trying to protect your soul we are heroes tonight we will fly above the sky Family, the new sports direct in Dublin. Oh, it's kind of beautiful, isn't it? We're gonna go inside and explore. Oh, look, advertising the new Chelsea kit 1718. We are the pride. See, it looks white there, doesn't it? That's definitely white, and it's 100% a white top. 
I think everyone, it's like it's great downstairs. I will show you when we get down. Well, that is a great top downstairs where the football top is. And it's out there, it's completely white. And I still want your guys' thoughts on what colour the jersey is. There it is once more. It's white. There's, there's just, it is definitely meant to be white. But it looks a grey colour. And it's really starting to book me. As I said in, in the previous video, guys, leave your comments down below what you think it is. Grey or white? This is what I'm talking about. That is not white. That is definitely a grey colour. I'm de I'm one hundred percent sure it's actually meant to be white. But that's definitely a grey. I'm giving you a close up about it now. Now, we hate these guys, but that's white. That's the new Spurs kit. This is white. Not what I showed you there with the Chelsea kit. That's what I'm trying to say to people. People keep telling me it's white. It's not white. It's bloody grey. Well, here at least it is. Um, that's why I want to wait till I get over to a game to make sure I'm not buying the new kit away kit here and it's grey and it's, it's actually white. As I said, guys, leave comments down below. Smash them comments down below. Is the new away jersey white or grey? There we go, boys. Purchase complete from the branded discount outlet. There's some really good deals in there, actually. Not just 15 euro. My other jersey, but they had a couple of other football jerseys in there. One I know was from Bosnia, and it was less than a 15 euro as well. So, that is just a brilliant shop if you want to get a good deal. Here's a bus kick, singing his heart out. Brilliant stuff, brilliant for the guy. As I said, look for a ship bargain, go to the brand and discount outlet. Really good value. As I said, I saved myself 15 euro from going in there. Still on Henry Street. I'm now going to make for Troy. To make my way to Tolteca. That's where I'm meeting the boys. I have no idea where this place is. Time to go on a bit of an adventure outside the TPO now. Still have no idea where I'm going. Tolteca is, I think it's like some sort of burrito place. Um, I have absolutely no idea where it is. We did say yesterday we're meeting on Grafton Street. I'm currently on Connell Con Con Street, I think. And Grafton Street's at the other side. So we're really on basically. So I'm heading back there now. Right, I've stopped off here at this statue thing. I actually have no idea what it's called. The amount of times I've been in, in town, and even the past couple of months have been ridiculous. I've been going to football matches past there in here, and I still have no idea what this statue is called. If you live in Dublin, just tell me. Still waiting to find out where Toltec is. So for now, we're just going to chill here. Organic whole grain cola, two euro twenty. Um, it better look up to its price tag because Jesus Christ, it's two euro twenty for a can of cola. Okay, guys, just what we've already met, Mark. We've I've already told you about the crappy organic cola, which is now damn being ground, downgraded to a four out of ten. But now we have the big one, the one I was mentioning about. Mark, give us a drum roll. Shane McDermott. Say hello, say hello to the channel. How are you? Shane, uh, so tell, us, tell, tell the channel about yourself. Tell the channel a bit about yourself. Uh, I support Liverpool. <laughs> that's about it. That's, a bit, that's, that's about it. That, that's, just your, that's just it. There's nothing else about your life. Uh, Not even your age, where you come from. I'm 18, I'm from Dublin. As you can see, Shane's not a very talkative person. But I guarantee you, I will strangle some words out of him later on for you. This is what I got. I got what is known as a burrito bowl. I got some cheese, I got some nachos, chicken, sweet corn, and I'm pretty sure there's something else stuffed in that humongous pile of food. I'm actually not quite sure. I didn't get any sauce though. Um, I don't like sour cream, I don't like mild, and I'm terrible with spice. So I'm gonna dig into it, and I'll give you guys my review on the burrito bowl. It's the wasteland of the food, not really eaten whatsoever, it wasn't grey, chicken was meh, rice is meh, the, the best thing about it was the nachos really, and like, where, where, oh here we go, the best thing was the nachos, and they weren't great either, Tolteca, you don't get a great rating from me, I'm gonna give you a 5 out of 10, I'm gonna be generous, not up to uh, what the hype of these uh, burrito places, 
But maybe, you know, it, somewhere else will be different and we, better. We have to get a burrito. Oh, hold on, Mark, Mark has a message for us. Go yeah, on. but you don't know to take your property until you have it in a burrito, because I've never had it in a bowl before. So, so, you're, so you're telling me not to judge it for the first time? I'd say get it in a burrito and then judge it. All right. So for now, Tulteca and your burrito bowl, you're getting a 5 out of 10. But next time, I'm told to try your burrito and maybe you'll get an upgrade. Yeah, we are. Like, like Shane said, we were just outside the dentist. He has finished it. To show the people your teeth. <laughs> yeah, okay. There. How, how, how do they feel now? A bit sore, but it's good. <laughs> it's feel so clean, do they? Yeah, they feel look at that! Look at that gorgeous smile now. <laughs> okay. Look at that. He's delighted with himself. Okay. What's, the, what's the plan for the rest of the day? I uh, just hang out with you and Dave and Mark. <laughs> Maybe gonna, go to the cinema. Maybe go to the cinema. What are we gonna see? Uh, the ape movie. <laughs> the ape movie. Okay. Shane isn't very fond of talking, so we're gonna go see Slam of the Apes. So we're now waiting for Mark and uh, David. I had a nice power nap in that room, like the posh room. It was a really comfy couch, and I slept there. There are the boys off on an adventure. We have finally arrived in Dundrum. I have no idea about this Planet of the Apes movie, Mark. Do you know anything about this Planet of the Apes movie? No, I saw one a couple of years ago, so. Well, no, I don't know anything about this one. David! Do you know nothing about this Planet of the Apes movie? Sorry? Do you know nothing about this Planet of the Apes movie? Have I nothing to say about I said, do you have anything to say about this Planet of the Apes movie? Uh, hopefully it'll be good. I don't really know anything about it. Yeah, neither do I. No one seems to know anything about this Planet of the Apes movie. Oh, We're gonna give it a go. Oh, wait, do you know nothing about the Planet of the Apes movie? No. No. So none of us know about the Planet of the Apes movie. Fan. Probably won't be as good as the... Uh, it's not gonna be as good Rovers as, like, game. Baby Baby Driver or the Rovers game. Yes! Yes, David. I'm trying to persuade David and the boys to come. Palace Stadium on Friday should be epic. We are still in a Dundrum, but not if you can tell by the signs in the background. We didn't end up going to see Planet of the Apes. We got our times completely wrong, and we ended up seeing Spider Man instead. The boys are in the shake shop getting their milkshakes. That's still Shane, that's still Mark, and that is still David. Spider Man, that's the second time I've seen it now. I think it's a great movie. Absolute plot twist in it. It turns out that the girl that Peter likes, her father, is the villain. And I'm sorry if I spoiled this for you, but you did watch the vlog. Anyway, um, I'm probably heading back into town now. It's about half eight. I need to start heading home. David, who is in the Fulham top in the white, is leaving us soon. Also, and Mark and David will be coming back with me. Saying goodbye to Bye David sorry. in the vlogs for now. High five. Goodbye. Will you be joining us for the derby? Hopefully. The viewers hope you will anyway. Bye, David. Bye. Say goodbye. Our three becomes two as Shane McDermott leaves us. Say goodbye, Shane. You <laughs> missed this stop. <laughs> oh my god. Try another girlfriend. Oh my god. Hey Shane, Shane, well done. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing, Mark, I'm guessing this is one of the tissues with Shane McDermott moments you're on about. Oh my god. We say goodbye to Mark for now. Any last words, Mark? I was gonna leave the way I entered and to Kiss the badge. Peace. Heading home now, guys, after another great day. I haven't seen the lads ages. Great way to spend my day. We're finishing the vlog here. Another fantastic day in the vlogs and the daily vlogs. I think this is the seventh or eighth day in a row now. I've been daily vlogging, going really well. But it couldn't be done without you guys. So, as always, thanks very much for watching. Give the video a like, and I'll see you tomorrow.